everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today I'm going to do another layout for the Warehouse Box Buzz with Miss Janet Madison at Love RTS Facebook group. And she actually has YouTube and a Patreon. It's called RTS Scrapbooking. And all of those links are below. Definitely check Janet out. This is entirely inspired by her idea. And I'm just kind of doing my version of it um, for the next few weeks. So you will see something totally different. It'll probably be way better and organized, but we will have some fun nonetheless. So she is definitely a mentor to me and I am honored to do this and that she shares all the content that she does because she's just an awesome, very intelligent scrapbooker. I don't know how else to describe it. Okay, so today I am doing a newer not she's not a baby no more this is and i'm sorry if it's a little bit of a dark photo but we lived in an rv for seven months and that's just how it was so she was really happy here she got to get her anime um beanie and she had on a little skirt and her long socks and if you have kids that are into anime you know what i'm talking about so she was really happy that day um, to be able to show off her new t-shirt and she was excited. So that's what I'm going to scrapbook. Now, Janet is using a current page maps um, sketch for a the month. I am using one from April of 2019. And so today, now the ones with the little X's on, I've already done. Today, I am going to use this one as a jumping off point. So we'll just start from there and see where this goes. If you watched my page kit video earlier in the month, then you know where all the papers came from. I did cut the papers, but we haven't put it together because I haven't decided on things and we're just gonna hang out and have some fun. I'll reference that back and forth. So you know where these papers from came from, the Coco Vanilla um, These Days line, and I added a few extras in there when I was making my kit. Now I can't, decide if you look at the sketch here it has just strips of paper paper pardon me i'm sorry i have the hiccups <laughs> oh goodness I'm, I'm getting too old to get the hiccups um it has strips here and a solid background i don't know if i'm going to do that exact and i only have one photo i did go ahead and make a journaling spot right here i don't know how that'll end up but i did make it because I'm going to talk about how she went to the mall with her dad and how she likes anime. You know how that goes. And it may end up, I embellish, I don't know. Here's my strips. Um, if you look at the, the sketch, they have a large, basically large, medium, and small. I did basically the same thing. I did two inches, one and a half inches, and one inch. Then I can't decide whether I, I know from there, I'm just going to kind of go my own way. I can't decide if I want to do it this way with Jilly's photo or if I want to do brown on the back and white as my main paper. I honestly, I think I'm going to start this way and we'll see how it goes. I don't know yet. Okay, so I might just border my entire layout with this right here and we'll just see what happens. Let me pull this down so it's a little better in frame. Sorry about that. So that's what I am thinking. Now the sketch has things over here, which I am okay with. I do think I need to cut, oh, I don't know, probably, let's, let's do half an inch off of each one of these. Oh, and don't forget, I do have my gifts from MK Gun, um, and I will link her below as well, along with page maps, anything I take about, talk about, I try really hard to make sure that I, um, um, I don't even know how what that's from. I make sure that I put the links below. Just, just hit that description button and you'll find everything that I talk about. And if I don't, just leave me a comment and I will find it for you. So I wanted to incorporate these in this layout. She gave me a box, a little thing of goodies when I ordered from her last time. And so I am trying to use all those beautiful things up. One, because I love them. Two, because I'm lazy. <laughs> That's just how it is. I'm lazy. All right, so I'm going to cut off half an inch because we want them to stand out. Little, aw, ginger. You know what? This is just going to be faster if I go this way. 
I'm trying to do all in one, I'm trying to be a little faster. That isn't working for me. So there's one. We'll just cut half an inch off of each one. And then the, the uh, inspiration sketch has them staggered on the paper. I think I am going to make banners out of these. So let me grab my scissors. And that's just what I want to do. That's my preference. And I'm gonna start with just doing the bottom. If I feel like it needs it, I may do the top as well. We'll just see what happens. So there's one, and I just eyeball this. If you wanna be precise, you can use your cutter and you can um, make precise little fishtails. I don't, cause I've said it before, I'm a lazy scrapper. <laughs> But I'm a scrapper, so that's how it is. <laughs> Take it or leave it, right? Now, I'm making sure that if this was a directional paper that I'm paying attention. This one, it doesn't matter. So, because I can tell you, there's been a time or two I have not paid attention and had to get rid of a scrap or something or a piece of paper and start over. And why is it when you do that, it's always, always when you only have one of that paper every single time. It never fails. Okay, so I want this to be my main focus, I think, and I want these to be supporting. I think I might have to cut off a little more. Yep, I am. It'll make me feel better. You know, though, what if, what if I went like this, and I just did them at the top? I mean, I don't have to do it exactly like they do it. This is my page. I think they did go like this, though, and I can cut those, right? So let's just, see, I kind of like that. Okay, so I could put this one higher and this one could go, and I'll just cut when I decide. All right, let's see that. Put my cutter over here next to me off to the side. Cause see, if you look here, they just have strips of paper. I'm just kind of, I'm gonna do it a little different. Yeah, I am, okay. So I have some banners. Now I will probably, because these have a white core, a white core in the paper is where the middle of the paper is white. So if you look real close on there, let me give it a chance to focus. It has a little white. Now I could try to clip that out or I could simply ink it, which I find to be easier. And that some papers are just like that. This one is also, and it drives me bagonkers. Yes, my own word. <laughs> so they have the strips of paper and then they have the photo. And we're just going to kind of not do it exact, but do it. And like this. So what if I were to put this here? I'm just wondering if I shouldn't flip this and have the brown and just mat it with white. Hmm. I like that except for this is really isn't, I'm almost feeling like I should back this in another color. I don't wanna do it in one of these that I've already done. This extra, when you, if you saw me make page kits, you know that I did this. But see, I think it's cause that's white on white. I think if I switch this, let's switch it. Just like that. That's the noise I used to make with my kids when they were little. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna do it on this side with this because I would like this journal block, I think, to be on its own. So, um, here, no, let's do this the whole way. So it would be like that and then I think I would go like this and then like this. Food for thought, it might change. We'll see what happens, okay? And I'm okay with the brown sticking out. I still think I'm going to ink these. I am when I put it all down. And then, yes, yeah, see, I like this better. It the, yeah, has to happen that way. Now I'll cut these off when I put it all down. In fact, let me pause the video. I'll put it all down, temporary adhesive like I normally do, 
and then we'll come together and I'll we'll embellish and have fun. I'll so be right back. I have everything temporarily. You can see nothing's forever, forever's. And I did put my photo on foam as well. This will be easier for me to um, embellish it. So other than that, while this was our inspirational sketch, this is what it inspired me to do basically. <laughs> So there's that and there's all my little bits and pieces. Um, I'll set my foam over here. And from there, I know I want to use MK's frames. Also, you know, I didn't tell you guys this, I pulled out um, and I added to this little page kit. I just felt like this needed some brown when I was kind of um, setting it up. Um, so this was not in my page kit if you did watch that video. So you're not crazy, it wasn't there. <laughs> I just pulled a fast one. <laughs> okay, so I love these because, you know, the entire walls and everything of the camper are brown. So I wanted to incorporate them. And this we can still move around, whatever we want to do. Um, maybe, I mean, if I decided, I almost want to embellish on this, even though I'm really not. I don't know. We'll see. I'm thinking maybe this one could go here maybe I don't know because I want the bunny to go the right way right so then this could go here and it would be even because you know this stands out a little bit and maybe we could get something in here and then this one could go under here I don't know we'll see I'm not positive on anything yet okay could have this over a little more like that. And then I pulled out this title. If you watched my embellishment share um, this morning, then you will have seen this, um, this title, Life in Photos. And I love this, I truly do. I'm just a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit nervous about this color. It's not that, this went with it. I don't know if this is gonna work. I mean, I don't know. We'll marinate on it. You guys know how I look. If not, I did pull out a hello. Let me grab that to just have, thought I did. I did pull this out and I thought maybe I could put that there and or down here. So we'll see. I have two, I just, this is so cool. This is so pretty. Um, but with teal being her favorite color, I could even pull this down and I could have hello right there. I think that looks better. It pulls the teal in from, it's basically the same colors of these flowers. It's got a white background, which will go with this. This is just my thought process. I could use the camera though. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Then I just pulled out a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> I pulled out these flowers, which are also from a Love RTS swap. Um, and these as well from a swap. I like these a lot. And there are two of these. I don't, these are from a swap a long time ago. Long time ago. Um, and then this was made by Judy. Um, Let's see here, here's another, oh look, there's a bunch of those. I have a camera, I have Remember This. This was also this morning. I knew I was gonna have a lot of peaches because this um, cocoa vanilla line has a lot of peaches. So we could, what if we use this? Let's, what if I put this in here? Oh, I kind of like that. Just making something, or I could go like this. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, because this has kind of a frame element. That's why I, I left it out. I didn't put it away this morning when I was putting away embellishments in my embellishment share. Um, I did leave this out and I'm, I mean, it is the same width as this, but I'm not, that looks like layered frames to me. So I like that. And I could do a little journaling and put the year up here, right? You're saying yes, Ginger. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> can't decide do I want hello I mean that would look really cute right there wouldn't it but then this looks blank to me now this is going here for sure I know that part for sure 
these are just beautiful. I love them. And so what if we were to put that there? Like it's growing out of the tree stump. <laughs> my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law. Oh, my brother-in-law. They had a tree stump. I'm just going to tuck while I tell my story. And um, I love my brother-in-law, Geraldo. I do. I love him a lot. But <laughs> they had a rose bush. He loves roses. He's from Tijuana, Mexico. And he planted it in a dead tree stump and wondered why it wouldn't grow. Don't, don't even get me started. <laughs> I don't even know what's going to say. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was funny. Okay, so then I do have some butterflies. I do have, these are all swap items I pulled out of my binder. Oh, this is pretty. How pretty is this? This is gorgeous. What if I were to layer this? Okay, well, we can try, right? There's no wrong way. I can do it however I want. Oh, okay, maybe I can't. <laughs> okay. Um, ha, ah, I just wish this was a different green. I, I don't think that's gonna work because we got a lot more different things. So no, this is no, I'll put that away. This goes with it, no, because it's the same color. We're back to this, like hello. I could put a little camera. What if I were to ink this? I like, then the heart stands out. I do like that, maybe. We can always take away. If I use these, I don't think I need these, even though I really like them, and they would match very well. No, I think I'm not gonna do that. This is just what I do, trial and error. I pulled out butterflies, but, um, I don't think I'm going to use that because I already have the little critters. I have this here, though. I could. What if I were to tuck this in just to give it a scallop? Okay. All right. Yep. Um, you know me. That's how it goes. What if I were to go like that? Just beef this up a little bit. Okay, so then this went first, right? And then I had this like this. What if I took the camera over here instead of here? Remember this, I like that. Mm, I could get a little piece of, I like this, like this. And I think what I wanna do though, let me see here. Okay, this is why, <laughs> this is why I keep my tiny little scraps because like I could back this heart and give it, that's what I'm gonna do. So I need to cut it about right there. And I made this camera, so I don't have any guilt. Although if you've watched me long enough, you know I don't anyway feel bad for, making embellishments work for me. That were, oh, seriously, did I cut it too short? Oh, Ginger, what are we gonna do with you? <laughs> Y'all just think to yourself, I feel sorry for her mom. <laughs> oh, you know what, my mom's just as crazy. Good woman, but crazy as all get out. Okay, so let's see, get some glue. And this is just a scrappy piece from when I cut this down. Remember I said I was gonna cut that down? That's all that is. And I'll just back it, make sure I don't do it on the texture side. Okay, so I put some glue on there and see if I can make this work. Oh, yes, now I just gotta give it some time to dry. So I'll set that aside and then I'm gonna tuck it right in there. Okay, so there's that. I feel like I should have because I got a word here, right? And I'll straighten everything out later. I can do, I could do like, I feel like I should have a sentiment in here is what I'm getting at. I could journal here if I really wanted to, but then I feel like I'm covering up all this paper. So I'll just do a tiny little bit of journaling. I'll push this up as high as I can so that I can have the most room possible. There's that. Oh, I love that glue. So then I'm going to stick this here. So the question is, do I want it there or do I want it here? Where do I want it? I like it better over here. 
yeah okay I'm gonna tuck that in right there I will put it probably on foam tape so it doesn't mist appear in there I did pull out this bicycle because she liked to um, ride her skateboard eh, not really sure that that's working I don't know what I was thinking and let's see here I do have this look these are sticker sheets and they have stickers on them this says epic what if I have to stick this in there it would because I have a scallop over here I don't know I'm trying to maybe some wax paper that doesn't stick and cause me all kinds of havoc right okay so stick this down inside of here maybe take this out this is not working ginger there like that got too many things going on here it's stressing me out oh see that's cute I don't know whether I should stick it in there or stick it like right here you can always have it go this way right I like that just because it is another round element and that's all right for it to be in there let's see what else I got on these here stickers drop the lid to my water that's not helping me mm, I could do hearts I have these puffy hearts because here's a heart so I could do tuck a or a big one even tuck this one in here and I'll get all the paper off of them oh I like that okay so I could go like that and then put one over here somewhere and maybe well probably better do a light one let's see let's see this one just stick it on here Tuck it underneath here. Hmm. I, I like this. I don't know if I'm into this. Um, I don't know. I mean, I maybe over here, like, do the same kind of concept. I don't hate it. That's okay. Yeah. Okay. I will tuck that in there and I will make, I'll make that work somehow. I like, I don't mind that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. And then just have hello. Okay, you guys, I think that's coming together. All right, yep. Yep, I'm marinated on it. <laughs> that just makes me laugh. Oh, I do have this though. The most important things in life aren't things instead of epic. And it's got this teal, see this here? I wonder if I could fit that inside of the frame. It's got a peachy little curly cue. Oh heck, let's just try it. What's it gonna hurt? Let me get it off of here. This is why I stopped doing them this way. These are my old, from my old composition notebooks and now I just have them in sleeve protectors in my binders until I get rid of them. I won't be doing them anymore. So what if instead of that, I put that inside of there? That's just kind of flopped on there for right now. I kind of like that better. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put this inside of here. I mean, Epic is cute and all. Something she would probably say, but I like this better. I'm going to make that fit inside that frame and arrange this. That's. It's kind of what it would look like. I'd probably end up taking the foam off of that. In fact, I know I will. And that pulls all the different, basically what we have here, different colors of peaches and pinks and different colors of teals, right? You got the darker, even darker. You've got the light. All these are in these leaves here and the peaches, all the different colors of that. So that's, yep, that's it. I will probably add some navy or black enamel dots and I will be right back. I'm gonna go glue it down. Okay, everybody, I got everything glued down. I did add a couple of things. Instead of doing enamel dots, I have these adhes adhesive bra brads from this Cartabella line. 
and I decided to use all of those and a little one that said lovely instead of using enamel dots. But other than that, I, I inked like I said I was going to. Um, I will put the year up a here. And I'm almost thinking I want to use my Rolladate stamp. I've been into that a lot lately. I don't know why, but I have. Um, or I could just do a Rolladate stamp here and put Jill's name here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do in the journaling block yet. I always do that later. <laughs> so you can press and just think about that, right? <gasps> One thing at a time. But this page has so much texture between the Love RTS flower that is several layers. It's almost like chipboard. The puffy stickers, the brads, and um, MK's embellishment. It, it has some beautiful texture and layers. I, I love this. I think it turned out so pretty. So pretty. Which, you know, I'm sure my, my daughter is not a pink kind of girl. That's why I kind of avoid them, but sometimes you just need to play with pink. I can't help it. Anyway, all right. So thank you for hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys so much. I haven't said that in a while, and I just never want you to think that I don't because I do. I do not um, take it lightly that you choose to come and spend time with me. It means a lot to me, and I hope you will do so again tomorrow. And with that said, we will do another layout tomorrow. We will do another um, embellishment share tomorrow. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye. <laughs>